Hey guys, so some really exciting news today. It leaked via Sony's official website that we're going to be getting two new Sony smartphones very soon here. And one of them is the Xperia X Compact, the successor to the Xperia Z5 Compact. And the other is the Xperia XZ, which is the successor to the uh, Xperia X Performance and the Z5. So here is a look at the X Compact. Uh, this week, first, the uh, EV leaks. So just a picture that he posted. Pretty close to the Z5. Of course, there's really not much we know about this. Uh, in terms of the XZ, so this is expected to have a 5.2 inch screen with dual LED flash and USB type C. Uh, aside from that, not too much is known about the two phones. Uh, personally, I do have some hopes, things I really want to see with them. Uh, so first of all, we should be seeing them next week at IFA. Uh, so I think a little bit under a week now. The main thing that I want to see for these two phones is I want to see them on CDMA. And for those of you guys who don't know, that's the network for Verizon and Sprint here in the United States. Now, my network is Verizon. So unfortunately for the um, Xperia phones, I can only use these as my work phones because my work phone is AT&T. So I can take out the SIM card used on my Xperia phones. But for my personal phone, I have Verizon. And actually, the last phone that they released, or even is available on Verizon, is the Z3V. So, can you guys see there? It's actually cracked. But, um, yeah, this obviously, this is a few years, a couple years old now. Um, so, I'm not even saying that I want them to uh, release it on Verizon. I'm not saying that they need to, you know, put in a carrier plan and all that. We need to officially release it with the licensing and everything, like they did here where they actually have the logo and you know you can get a data plan with it um but i just want it to be compatible with cdma that would be enough for me personally i don't think it's going to happen but would really love to see that um next for the x uh the x compact so i'm not you know it's not quite sure what someone's going to do with this if they're going to make it more of a follow-up to the xperia x or the x performance I really hope that it's a follow-up to the X performance. Uh, of course, I want to have that Snapdragon 820 rather than a Snapdragon 650, and I do want it to remain waterproof. Um, and I really hope they do that because, you know, like now there's really not that many good small smartphones like you have here with the Z5 Compact. Uh, so I think they have a great opportunity. They can continue to own that market. Um, but again, guys, we don't know any of the specs. I really hope that we're going to get the 820. Uh, I think the A21 would be uh, greedy, but who knows? As long as you don't get the 650 with it, I'll be happy. Um, and then also, just for both phones. So, my main complaint with the X Performance... Now, I do think this is a great phone. I really like it. But my main complaint is that uh, two great features in Sony phones in the past, the camera and uh, battery life... I thought that they weren't any better than they are in the Z5, and in some regards, actually worse. I think the battery life may be a tad bit worse. Um, so I hope that they increase the battery size. And the camera, I definitely think that they need to improve it. Uh, again, I do think it's a great camera, especially in terms of video. I think it's excellent. But there's a lot of room for improvement. I think this is on par with the Z5 in terms of camera. So, yeah, guys, we really hope they focus on those areas. Um... Again, IFA next week, so we should find out shortly. Alright guys, thanks again for watching, and let me know in the comment section what video you want to see next.